Hello everyone, so today we're going to be creating some game art with uh, Stabletician and AI that you can uh, hopefully be using in your, uh, your own video game or your indie game or AAA game for that matter because of the quality of these um, AIs nowadays. So we're going to go into uh, image to image and this is my local installation of Stable Diffusion. If you don't um, have one, uh, I'll put the link in the... Well, it's going to be in one of the corners right now of how to install it. And I've prepared an asset. I'll take this Viking sword. Let's write video game art in style of Diablo and World of Warcraft. With rube, let's go sparkling rubies on hilt. Actually, wooden hilt. We're going to redraw the whole image. Uh, we're going to up the sampling steps to 50, go with LMS. And uh, let's start with about four of them. And we can leave the scale at seven. We can lower this a little bit until we get a shape that we want. Uh, see where this takes us. Yeah, so this is a good start. We have the shape and a couple of rubies. Well, not a couple, we have five of them. So uh, let's go with this one. We're just going to iterate and, and keep working on it. So we're going to up the strength a little bit, maybe up the scale a little bit as well. So each time you, you, um, you do one of these iterations, you give the AI more to work with. You can keep doing this until you get something you're happy with. This one's pretty sweet. I mean, I like the, the curves on the blade. Let's go with this one. It's pretty neat. Now we're, we've dropped the wood. So this actually, uh, well, it might be wood. It could be ornamented wood or detailed. So let's put an ornamented uh, wooden hilt. Uh, we want more sparkling rubies, so let's add a couple of these. Uh, generate again. Uh, we're not getting a lot of sparkling rubies, but uh, the rubies are still there. But uh, let's see if we can uh, work with that. This still has some resemblance of a hilt, so let's copy that, let's take that into Photoshop. And let's uh, add some, uh, some white. Maybe that will help us with some, uh, some sparkliness. See, maybe that's too much, we'll see. So, the hilt's pretty good. Maybe we could add some gemstones set into the sword as well. So take this color. Actually, we'll just add a whole inset here. There we go. And let's do some white again. Maybe a little spark here. All right, let's save that. Set it up as uh, Viking Sword to them. And put that in here. Can't lower the strength a little bit now because we're getting more and more we want here. Can up the scale. That will make the AI li listen more to your prompt and do what you want it to. So generate a new batch. And we've got a couple of nice looking inlays here. This first one's a little crude. This one's uh, all right, but this one's all messed up. And this one's nice. I like this one. That one's crude as well. I think we actually might have to lower the scale a little bit and up the strength again. If you start getting a lot of these artifacts, you might want to lower your scale, especially at LMS. 
uh, you can get this if the scale is too high. Usually, you know, when you reach around 20, but apparently here as well. So let's iterate on. Um, boom, 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 boom. Let's take this one. It's pretty nice. Run it again. Now we're getting a lot of different shapes, and that's because we increased the strength here. Because this is jagged or serrated ledge. Uh, I don't think we're going to use this for anything. This one's pretty nice with the curve here. Yeah, I like this one. This is super sweet. So let's take this one. Let's get it back into Photoshop. I think I want some more width on it. Let's take this color here. Sad, maybe. Like this, like this. And actually, I'm going to add the ruby down here. And uh, well, we can remove this, this trash here. Whatever that is, I have no idea. All right, let's save a new iteration. So this would be Viking Sword 3 then. Put that back in there. Lower the strength a little bit. And I guess get a new batch. This one didn't work out pretty good. This one either. They're all pretty crap actually. So let's lower the scale a bit again. Let's get the strength up. Let's run a new batch. This one's kind of weird. This one's sweet though. I mean, these, uh, yeah. Let's go with this one. And then we're gonna up the sampling steps. Let's just max that out. Um, we can lower the strength, and we talked about that before, but lowering the strength keeps more of this image. Getting a higher strength will change the image more. And since we're getting, you know, on, on an iteration that we're close to feeling that we're finished, we, we're going to lo lower the strength. Let's run for new ones. And since we're upping the sampling steps here, we should get more details. Yeah, this is sweet. I'll take this one and uh, send it to extras. We're going to upscale it by four. So from 512, that should get us to like um, 2000, 2048, I think. And there we have it. A sword for your game. Pretty cool. So if you like this content, like and subscribe. That way I can uh, make more of this. And uh, yeah, good luck. Have fun. Create some art.